Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Ontario Permaculture. I'm Misty Murfarians. Today I want to talk about the end of winter. Um, literally, here in Canada we are coming to the end of our wintry season, which extends well into actual spring. Um, but we have all the signs of spring. At the beginning of taking the footage for this video, it was winter in earnest. We had gone for a couple of months with minus 10 Celsius or lower, minus 20 averaging in there as well. And now it is positive 15 degrees. This is in the span of a couple of days. We had a blizzard just a few days ago. I'm down here at my watering hole. You can probably hear it flowing merrily. And I just want to reflect for this video on the metaphor of going through heavy winters and expecting heavy winters and getting to a point where you just know that spring is coming. And at that point, you're at your weariest of winter, but at the same time, every little sign when the Canada geese return, when our ponies' fur begins to fluff, when the cows start to get really itchy, when the stream is flowing, where you see certain birds returning, all of these things are just promises to your heart that you will see greenery and sunshine and abundance again. And that's a really important lesson for me because um, as I often do in winters, but particularly this winter, there has been some politics, wor world events, things like that, that really felt like winter to me. They really felt like they were locked up, impossible, just not accessible or abundant. These issues that I just really wanted to do something about and yet had felt so chilled by them that I felt like there was nothing I could do about it. Um, I started to liken it to hacking through the ice on the watering hole that I'm at here. Now, on the minus 20 days, I would have to come with the hatchet two or three times a day and break open the water again just so that I could draw water for my animals. Now it's flowing merrily and I don't have to do that effort and it's just the right season for it. And so considering things like peace and equality and uh, real democracy and things like that, at times recently it has felt like it's really a winter of situation, of global politics and things. But I have seen the signs and I felt the signs that spring is coming. So I will show you some of the videos of how we found joy in the winteriness and how we appreciate our Canadian winters here, how we keep it fresh, and most recently how we say goodbye to winter by enjoying all those things for the one last time, even on days where it's slightly impractical to do so. So let's go have a look. In the depths of winter, winter can feel oppressive. It can feel colorless, drained of life. For gardeners, winter can feel like the opposite of everything we want all the abundance we know and love. And winter can seem stuck and never ending. Opportunities for joy seem rare, but things that are rare become treasures. Do you want to keep going? Like that? Do you want to keep going? Yeah, down at the end of the driveway and back. Good boy, sir. Good boy. Why do we... Why is horse... 
brush his, never brush his hair. <laughs> In my opinion, interacting with nature is the best bolster for your mood in winter time. Creatures are so stoic and even joyful about winter. It has a lot to teach us. Getting outside in the sunshine and fresh air is so good for the spirit too. When the sun is with you, you take advantage. To me, winter seems like the perfect time to adventure. Hard work through the winter means my body isn't bored waiting for the growing season again. Go ahead. <laughs> Good job. Yeah. Thank you so much to all of our supporters, our GoFundMe funders, and our Patreon patrons. If you would like to join that group of individuals, you can find the link down in the comments below, and uh, we welcome you there. In the meantime, in gratitude, be well.